I gave her a ring, but she don't wanna fly no more. Slow it down, slow it down. She wants a ring and she's slamming the door, but baby don't cry. But what you wanna hurry for? Of the BCW podcast, I am your host Eric Lee with our special guest at this time new to the commentating team here at BCW Podcast. This is Matthew Grove. Well, thanks for the little short there introduction there, Eric. And surprise, surprise. The BCW podcast actually gets more entertaining now with me, right? So a lot of changes have happened here at BCW, apparently. Chris Danger, new champ, congrats. Revolution looks to make a name for themselves. And I alone, just joining the commentating team, getting a insight scoop on everything for y'all. Get to tell you everything that's happening. But you still get to hear from the best in the world, and that is me. No doubt, no guarantees on that. So, signing over to the podcast team wasn't very hard enough for me, considering the fact that I already do a podcast show of my own, what, every weekend? Definitely when I can to grow podcast, listen to it anytime. Um, where to begin? I'll start with Revolution and give my opinions about them. They're just a bunch of young guys looking to make names for themselves. And if they wanted to do too great on that, they could have invited me to the party. I can always give you the bump up. But that's okay. Everything happens for a reason. That's obviously not happening. Um, See, BCW had somebody great that they let go. And it's hard to mention that certain somebody. Chris Draven. When BCW lost you, everything else went down the hill. Because if it weren't for you being gone, you would be champion right now, not Chris. Chris Danger is getting lucky living off of everybody else's success. And in case anybody hasn't noticed, BCW Live will now be going three hours starting next week. When I make it official on the commentating team. Right now I'm temporarily here covering in for Dave. So. The first order of business. Which which Dave talks for a long, long time. And that's okay. Eric just, I don't know, he just starts off the show. Poor Eric. Poor Eric. (laughs) Well, 
And other things happening in BCW is new tag team champions, which I think Revolution is also targeting because they want those belts too. And Austin Harrell going into retirement. So the match happening in September at Payback is not on. I'll either have to find a new challenge or just step down myself. But if anybody wants a challenge, I'll take on one anytime, anywhere. That's always an open opportunity for me. That really ain't nothing new. So... The heck was that supposed to be? Oh, gee, take a picture too. Might even last longer. <laughs> Dave, you gotta quit. I mean, Eric, you gotta quit. So you got me to take a Dave over here, Eric. You gotta quit messing with these people, all right? <laughs> all right. I don't know why these people are even laughing. This ain't even funny. Um, here in the next few weeks, there's going to be a lot of changes. Like I said, first change, order change, I'm signing a contract to do the podcast show every week here at BCW. This ain't even but a Tuesday night, and you get to see BCW Podcast Live every Tuesday night. It's going to be amazing. I think next Thursday we'll go ahead and do the uh, Grow Podcast. But you also have to realize there's plenty of time for that tonight too at 1 a.m. So you'll get two bonus episodes this week and next week. So that's something to look forward to. Now, before I kick this thing off into commercial here, I want to leave off before we get a commercial break. That. After the commercial break, we are going to talk about Chris Danger, his World Heavyweight Championship run for the past 291 days, and what we could expect with that. And we'll talk a little more about Revolution. And we'll talk about the Divas division starting at BCW. So, that's after the commercial break. Until then, see you next few. Hey, pass me a kickstart.
just to give you an in-depth look at SummerSlam this year and SummerSlam is not until I do believe let's see SummerSlam actually is in June so we got a little while to wait for SummerSlam but let's take a look at now Fastlane and for Fastlane this year, we have the new theme for it, Blinding Lights by the Weekend. Now, here's Fastlane.
Now tonight's podcast is obviously brought to you in part by and sponsored by Mountain Dew Kickstart. Every commercial we air tonight will be done by the Kickstart commercial. So, like I said, new changes in BCW. And in case you haven't noticed, not only am I joining the commentating team, but I'm going to have to run BCW and make matches as well. So, that being said, next week, Chris Danger will make his public announcement regarding his championship next week. And also, Austin Lee returns to BCW next week. Those are two major things happening. I don't know what we're going to expect or what we're going to do. But I'd hold on and buckle up if I was all y'all. Because not only is Austin Lee coming back, Draven is returning and he is looking to challenge Chris Danger to a match. But it's the question of will Chris accept or will he decline? That's the that's the main question you'd have to ask. But only Chris knows the answer to that one. So and also in regards for BCW wrestling, as always There's a lot of changes. We got the world tour happening. The takeover world tour. And Jake Storm. Since he had lost the title. That he claims he never lost. He wants. To talk to Chris as well. That may be happening next week. Jake Storm was a great champion. But. When he lost the title, obviously he lost something else too. But we're not going to get that started, would we? Um, And also at Fastlane, Max Danger isn't only just busy with Chris. Also at Fastlane, if Max somehow comes successful with the World Heavyweight Championship, he is to face me in an unsanctioned match. Which is... A lot more dangerous than a no holds bar. Seeing an unsanctioned match. This can spill out anywhere. At any time. And anything goes. So Max. If I wanted to be cruel enough. And put a car battery and cables. And electrocute your testicles. That is all legal and fine. In that kind of match. But we're not going to try that. Okay. I'll let you have a little bit of your pride and dignity. Alrighty, and at Everrise this year, which was January 21st, I had my first returning match in a no-holds-barred match against Jeffrey Holcomb. We haven't seen that face in a while. No telling when he'll return. Gene Chase and Falcon Air will also have a match at Fastlane. This match will be a last man standing match. And also, happening at Mania, of course, I will have one last final match with Max Danger. So, that's it, Mania. There ain't much more to go for that one. Now, I guess here in a second, we'll figure out what more matches we are going to make. 
I will talk with the production team here. In the meantime, of course, you know, we gotta have one last break before we get this off the air. Hey, pass me a kickstart. I personally just want to say how proud I am of everything happening at BCW Wrestling. It is so great. There is nothing in this entire podcast that probably doesn't cover what is happening at BCW. Of course, as announced, Austin wanted to retire. He wanted his last match. He wanted to leave. But he also kind of left a lot of Twinkies behind as well. <laughs> Y'all laugh, but that's very shocking. Um, he also left Pop Tarts too. <laughs> that's not funny. I literally ate some Pop Tarts that he left. They were good. They were hot fudge Sunday. Um. The main things that get covered, you got two events before Mania, of course, you've got Fastlane, and then you got SummerSlam, which happens in June because it's the biggest event of the summer. So SummerSlam is probably going to be the best this year than it was last year. The only thing entertaining about last year is when I showed back up and went through all them challenges and yeah. Then I left and came back in January. It's entertaining enough. So. That was kind of random. But BCW wouldn't exist without the podcast, without the streaming game systems, without any of that, it would be hard to do BCW. So, couldn't thank anybody enough, and I thank all of y'all. Alright, well, it has been a great 26 minutes, and in case if y'all haven't noticed, BCW Podcast has only went 15 minutes long or less, but now we can go three hours next week, and until then, we are about 20 or 30 minutes into it every single time. This just gets great. 
this really does get great now I'm gonna take everybody on a school lesson here number one the most common mistake a rookie could ever make is trusting anyone so at BCW don't trust anybody in that room you never know what will happen and when it will happen but it will happen alright now I'm going to close out the show with that let y'all look at one last preview of the match cards next week but until then see you later I gave her a week, but she don't apply no more Slow it down, slow it down She wants a ring and she's slamming the door But baby, don't cry, or what you want to hurry for Slow it down, slow it down We are I have